You are a concerned citizen. You secretly enter the local water pumping station in hopes that you'll be able to find some answers and solve some problems. This entire week, your shower has been covering you in black sludge, while your kitchen sink has outright refused to spare you even a single droplet of water. It hasn't rained for months! That last one was probably completely unrelated, but what the hell? The entire place has been locked down, and all of your complaints have been ignored. You figure it's time to find the person in charge and give them a piece of your mind. You should probably figure out where they actually are first. Check your IPDA smartphone and learn who is in charge of this stupid place. Smartphone? You don't have one of those, and you probably never will. You're not sure how you'd use it to find out who's in charge in this place to begin with. Maybe someone made an app or something. Nevertheless, you pull out your relatively intelligent phone and turn it on. No service. Stupid smartphone. Look out the hole through which you entered. You climb back up to take a look outside and get your bearings again. There's nothing out here. Rather, nothing new that you didn't see on the way in. The pumping station is a kilometer or two out from the city, and you enter through a window in the back on trying the locked door. There's a truck parked out in the grass. It's not yours and was already there when you broke in. Take puddle. You have nothing on you that will let you hold water. You walk up to the puddle and see your reflection. Despite being in the puddle on the floor, the water appears to be very clean and crystal clear. This is the kind of water that should be coming out of your tap at home. You'd totally take some of it with you, if you could. God, it even feels nicer than the water you're currently getting at home. <gasps> Go help him. Take his hat, though. You briefly consider kicking him furiously to stop him from moving around. But you figure he's only like that because he can't see a thing through that helmet. You take his helmet and put it on. You can barely see out of it yourself. The little man calms down. You remove the rope around his waist and the tape around his face and ask him what's going on. Okay, so for that uh, can you speak a little more slowly? I can't understand what the hell you're going on about. Something about 50 of you and 4 other guys? What? Slap him in the face and tell him to speak slower. Speak slower. Speak slower. Speak slower. Speak slower. Speak slower. Thank you. The man tells you that four thugs showed up a week ago and captured all 50 of the workers and strung them up at various points in the pumping station. The thugs have been stealing most of the water and heavily polluting the rest. How can you even steal water? Leave the waterworks and go to the police. Yeah, this seems like a very serious problem and you should probably call the police. You're on the case! Hey, what are you freaking out at? What's that? Oh god! Apparently, this is Slick, one of the four thugs who have taken over this building. Somehow, he jumped out of a puddle and surprised you. Fortunately, he doesn't seem to have a weapon, and the helmet you took from the worker seems to be holding up fine. You're not entirely weaponless either. You got a few tricks up your sleeve. You just need to take a look at your mood ring to see if the time is right. Mood ring? Oh yes, your trusty mood ring. You use it to store all sorts of items when you go traveling. It isn't all that complex, and it's lighter than the bag. Your position on the spectrum fluctuates with your mood, or, to be precise, the temperature. And depending on where you are, you can store or pull out an item at will. You've been as high as red and as low as blue. What's unusual is that you've never ever seen purple before. Is it even possible to reach purple? You're pretty worked up, but it's a bit chilly in here, so your mood is in the green. Fortunately, that's where you put your can of maize. You swap it out with your phone. 
you've always wanted to use one of these things. You bought it a long time ago, in hopes that you'd be able to spray some at someone just to see what would happen, but you've never found the opportunity to use it. You're not entirely sure how well this will work on a man in a diamond suit. But hell, you're not entirely sure if it'll work at all. It's been years, and things starting to rust a bit. Point it at him and spray, but close your eyes. You close your eyes and hope for the best. Is it working yet? I can't see! Stop and back away. This is pointless. You're tired of flailing around mindlessly, and you're trying to kill someone in a protective suit with a fine mist. Pathetic. Not to mention the bottle's clogged. Stupid piece of shit spray. Hold on. You acquire the maze. And for all! Look at you go! Your name is Slick. You were only trying to scare this girl away, but she's getting a goddamn maze. And is getting more and more violent with each attack. Of course, the one time you didn't bring your harpoon is the time you needed the most. You aren't actually hurt, but if your suit is damaged beyond repair, then there will be consequences. You need to do something before she hits you again. Sloppy makeouts. You briefly consider, but your face has had enough love in front of the base for one day. You die instead. That'll buy you some time. Slick, pull out your spade in a hole. Smooth succeed. Yeah, it's probably best to go out the way you came in. You've got to go repair your suit back in the employee lounge. Might also be a good idea to warn her say about this girl. At least he would take you seriously. The others would just laugh. And Tubbs will probably kick your ass. Be that girl again. What girl? You're not entirely sure what that's supposed to mean. Regardless, you've practically made negative progress. You haven't gone any further into the waterworks, and now the bad guys know you're here. You're just gonna stay here and rage for a little while. Chill out and get up. If one of the bad guys comes around, you don't want them to catch you lying around on the floor. Yeah, it's probably best just to chill out. All that rage is harmful if you've got no means of unleashing it. Check reddish or orangey item. Even though you can't access them, you still can view all the items you've got in your mood ring. You didn't store anything in the orange part of the spectrum. Wait, you should probably take the time now to see what you actually brought. At the blue end, you've got your handy MP3 player. Whenever you listen to it, you feel super cool, like you'd be able to groove your way out of anything. Problem is, you're always very calm after listening to it. So, when you put it away, you have trouble getting at it again, when you're not as calm. There's another item here at the opposite end, in red. You don't remember putting anything up there. What could it be? A shotgun! Wow! You must have been more pissed than you thought. You don't even remember owning a shotgun. Might not be a good idea to trust it. You doubt you would ever be able to get that angry ever again. Honestly, you're afraid you'd spontaneously combust or something. You'd practically be setting yourself on fire. Examine water. Gather it in helmet. The helmet's plastic, so it can be used to hold the liquid. Man, you have no idea how he did it. This is just an ordinary puddle. You can touch it and feel the concrete underneath. It's just plain old water. You're having second thoughts drinking it, but you could probably use it for something. It might even be able to cool you down if the need ever arises. 
explore. All right, time to actually get somewhere. Go right. You head off to the right. Go for a run with one of your old buds. You know, wild abandon. That's stupid, and it makes you feel stupid. Who in their right mind would ever want to do that? Ouch! You bump into the door! Well, it looks like we're finally getting somewhere. You can either go take the maintenance route, or head directly along the upper level. Hold on, you need to think about this. Taking the catwalk should be much quicker. You won't have to weave your way through most of the inner workings of the waterworks, but Slick and whatever goons he may have with him will probably be close by. You're probably going to end up fighting. If you go down and take the maintenance route, you'll most likely evade anyone wanting to hurt you. Problem is, you'll have to run around in the machinery, which may or may not kill you. Take the catwalk. You're feeling rather confident, so you do your little turn towards the catwalk. Bring it up! Oh, what the shit? Don't be racist. Greet the creature amicably. You try to wave at the monster, hoping you can befriend it. It just grins at you. Creepily. Refuse to acknowledge its existence. It can't hurt you if it doesn't exist. It isn't making a move, so you try stepping around it. You think it's working. It's just staring forward into space and ignoring you completely. Just a few more steps and you'll be home free. Diplomacy. The monster attacks. Push cardboard replica down. No. You can't believe she saw through that. You picked one of the fiercest creatures you've ever known and had Flash cut out the most accurate representation out of the best cardboard you could find. You really don't want to hurt her, but it looks like somebody is going to have to do something if you are to complete your objective. Your red ink cartridge is running kinda low. Better pick up a new one at your local office supply store. Good. You were hoping it empty soon. You don't seem like that bad of a guy. Try explaining what you're doing here to her, or negotiating with her. Flashback on exactly what you're doing here and why first. You're not going over all your reasons for being here again. The only important part is that you get what you came here for. Still, you still think you can make this girl leave. You go to turn on the intercom. I'm afraid I'm going to have to disagree with your methods, Slick. We want this water, and we're going to do what we do best to make sure we get it. Jose's in that area. I'm going to let him know. Start peeling an apple. Hmm, delicious. It was a goddamn cardboard cutout! How could you be so gullible? Ugh. Your angry stomping breaks the cutout in half. Add the head to your inventory. Sure, why not? Keep being so angry and go right. You hope that for those guys' sake, they don't run into you. You head up to the right, onto the actual catwalk, which leads into an even bigger room. Thank you. 
you kind of forgot why you were mad again.